church right there, the Church of God in Christ. Uh, probably on the other side, and there's the post office over there. So I'm guessing Wesleyan is probably down that way, which we'll be passing by here. Uh, I tell a little story about about Wesleyan. Uh, one part of the dorms right there. But I had gone out to Dallas. I was playing Peter in the role of Heidi Chronicles, and I had gone out to Dallas. I guess I had gotten a drink, and I placed it somewhere. By the time that morning came, I was just, there was something wrong. So I had to basically see a doctor and get off campus. I was kind of like in like a, oh, I guess you could call it psychosis. I had something I had drank brought me into psychosis. So I was walking around the campus, and my dad had to come get me. I think it was like a, a two-week stay and stabilization. At the time, I was playing Peter in Heidi Chronicles. I just I just had finished playing um, Stanley Kowalski in Streetcar Named Desire, and I got an award for that. But I was fasting a whole lot, and I must have taken that drink the next day. It was just, you know, it took about two weeks to get out of it. I probably would have been okay if I had two weeks of rest, but I had to see a few doctors, and they got better. And I, I re-enrolled, re and then I... Um, Ended up transferring just everything to, to UNT, UNT credits, uh, and then I, they transfer a lot of the everything but the religious stuff because it's a pri it, it's actually a private school, and then uh, uh, it's right over here off of this side, Bishop. But I ended up transferring to UNT and then graduating three years later. Then I took off to Hollywood, stayed in Hollywood for almost about a year. And then I auditioned my way into New York, the actor studio. There was a guy named Chase Pruitt. There was a guy named Chase Pruitt. This is Wesleyan right here. Chase Pruitt went to Wesleyan, so did I. Right over there used to be the Firehouse Theater. They took it down, looks like. And this is all new Wesleyan right here. And our acting class was actually right over here. It was right next to a thing called Art Happens, about right here. And that's a Texas Wesleyan building. And our shop building, which was next to the theater, was right here. That was the shop. And then this was the actual theater. Right here. That was the front of the theater right there. And that was also the theater department. There's something that says Theater Wesleyan. We also had a little underground theater right there. And I, I taught mime at the basement of that for a while when I ran the Rat Carpet Theater Group, uh, which Brian Beck and I ran. There is some of it right here. And the main campus. You would walk around quite a bit on campus. You don't really notice it. It's kind of, it's a small school and they have a law school that's a downtown area of Fort Worth. But they had a couple of dorms. One dorm I stayed in was right there. And that was a, uh, I believe it was a co-ed dorm. And the other dorm I stayed in was way over on the other side of the fences there. So there were two different dorms. I believe when I was playing Stanley, I stayed in that dorm. And Stella would come and visit me. Stella Kowalski, or the lady that was playing Stella at the time. And she'd come hang out. We'd do like scene study. I'd be Stanley Kowalski talking. And she'd be like, oh, Stanley. Anyway, so that's what we did for about, I don't know, about three years. I tried to take off to Chicago and around a gas in Missouri. And then I had to come back. And then eventually I made my way. It took it took about mm, from after leaving Wesleyan. It took about a good three and a half years before I, I was ready to go to uh, Hollywood. And then I went from Hollywood, same steps as James Dean, all the way to the Actor Studio in New York. So I had to fly all the way there, and I stayed there for about a year or so. And then 9/11 happened, which changed my entire life. And I headed back home, where I did a lot of writing, got into vlogging, um, officially in 2000. 10 but it was more like independent filmmaking on youtube and then i got into vlogging probably just within the last two years uh, where i found out that you could do a vlog which is like a video log 
kind of out in the woo kind of style kind of thing. What's cool about this park? They did Zoo Story in that park. It's a um, play written by. Uh, he was an actor studio playwright, uh, Edward Alby. They did it in this park. It was, man, it was hot too. It was like sweat and trying to watch it all. They did the actual whole zoo story there. There's a bridge that goes right across there. There's pretty pretty cool little, little school. Park. It's taken me through Cobb Park, the pizza place. I was on the other side of Cobb Park when I was making another delivery. I don't think the zoo story was done at Cobb Park, but it was probably near it. It was probably the other park that I was passing by. It was close, closer to campus. I think it was just a park that was right down the road from campus. But it, it's zoo story is actually set in Central Park, which is uh, a little bit, you know, a little bit different area. Edward Alby had written it when he was a younger student, and he was also intern at the Actor Studio, and then eventually got really big in the Alley Theater, which is South Texas. Um, a friend of mine, Lorca, actually worked with him, and Three Tall Women with Uta Hagen. Um, her name's Lorca Simons. She had done some work with him. Um, pretty well-known playwright. Uh, you know, he's as big as nearly Eugene O'Neill or whatever. Did another play called Delicate Balance. And then his big play to fame was Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, which has been done all over the nation, everywhere. And this is pretty much a, a park. It's called the Cobb Park, which is um, somewhere in Fort Worth, not too far from East Rosedale. That is known as the South Campus. Uh, it used to be TCJC. That's where we did Mother Courage. I was in high school. I played the cook. And we got far. We went to an area that, that's the South Campus right there. So I was reading an article about the execution of Channing Freelove and her friend Melanie Gulchard. And one of them said that it happened in a field. And that was one article. It was written quite a bit. And then I've heard it happened in her car. So don't know for sure. But I always thought it happened under a bridge in her car. But the article that I read said it happened in a field. So I've been told things through word of mouth and around the time of the funeral and all that kind of stuff. But uh, it is interesting because it was somewhere around here. I don't know exactly where. I've heard, some people have shown me some places, but um, I know where the, the funeral was Laurel. It was the Laurel funeral or the, the Laurel grave site. Um, Laurel land or something like that. It's not too far from here. But somewhere not too far from Hemp Hill or something like that. I've been looking through some articles to see if they have an address because I've thought about maybe maybe continuing like a, a vlog showing the uh, gravestone and stuff like that. Well, there is a website that's dedicated to her that does show, I believe it shows the gravestone. 
and it does say murdered on it kind of in a way it could even say martyred because she was a christian um and the people that did it were very unforgiving people and they will be punished just like people that do that kind of stuff to people are you know and they have a chance to ask for forgiveness thousand miles away it's the plate say I drive transport across the nation they're probably from well no I guess it's something like that they're carrying something like that they're probably from the area they don't have oh well yeah the te Texas area yeah it's an open transport most anything that's gonna be transported from Maine to Texas is gonna be closed transport, or it's gonna be like in a box, like, you know, semi kind of thing. It's kind of good. It's a Clooney and Wahlberg. Triple feature, Elvis. The Trouble, Trouble with Girls, Speedway, and whatever this is. Back when an uh, evangelical, uh, big Hollywood evangelical moment. This one's uh, worth it. Jeff Daniels. I think he was either nominated or he won. It was one of the year one of the best films, but they're winning twelve ninety nine for it. But uh, Jeff Bridges and Maggie getting Hall's pretty good. It's called Crazy Heart. It's a little like a, it's a kind of a slight version of Star is Born a little bit. It's a little like that. Jeff Bridges is really good at it. Theatrical monologue I ever did was from this musical Hello Dolly. Her interviewed in New York by Lipton. She said she hung out somewhere in the village, somewhere with a hippie chick in somebody's house by a lake, somewhere towards, uh, uh, somewhere south of Texas towards the beach, some lake, or near Lake House. Kame right here, 40 year old virgin. West play. Probably pick them up here. It's got all the oceans and everything. It's kind of cool. Sean Penn, sorry, Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah. 
224. D is right here. Sharks. I don't understand the whole thing. I gotta learn this first. <laughs> <laughs> 